In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate artificial intelligence in a .NET application. Basically, we are going to connect to the OpenAI API so that we can interact with its AI. So, this is basically the application that we are going to build. It is a console application which we are going to be able to ask questions and then that question will be sent to OpenAI and we are going to receive an answer. For example, what's the capital of France? It is Paris. Alright, and of... Italy, it is Rome. So notice that it retains the context. It knows what we're talking about. I can say and of Italy and it knows that I am asking about the capital of Italy. So let's get started. All right, so let me close this. And here we have a brand new console application. And the first thing that we want to do is to install the Nougat package of OpenAI. So let's go to manage Nougat packages. Let's go to browse. And let's write here OpenAI, OpenAI, install, accept. All right, let me close this. Now we need a key in order to interact with OpenAI. So we have to go to platform.openai.com. We have to register ourselves, register a credit card and fund our account. In my case, I just paid about $10 and then we're going to be given a secret key. I can use that secret key from my .NET application to interact with OpenAI. So I will take this key. I will come back here and we can put it, for example, in an environment variable. But in our case, to keep things simple, I'm just going to put it in a class. So let's go to add class. I'll call it constants. And I will paste my key here in this constant here. So now I can use it. All right. So let's come here. Let me remove this. And let's make a simple example first. Let me say var model name. We're going to use the GPT 4.0 model. Let's say var client equal to new chat client. This chat client will allow us to interact with the AI that allows us to ask questions to it. So let me say here the API key. So constants, constants, control dot. Let me bring this and then open API key. All right. Now let me ask a question to the AI. Let me say var response equal to await client complete chat async and i can ask a question like what's the capital of france all right semicolon and then i will just write that on the console so console right line let me say here string interpolation ai response value content zero text semicolon all right, so let's press Control F5 and let's see that indeed this will work. And as you can see, we have AI, the capital of France is Paris. Okay, excellent. Now, of course, it is very boring to simply have this question here hard coded. Therefore, I want to add some interactivity to my console application. So let's do the following. Let's come here. Let me say here while true. And let me say here var input console read line so that I can write something. And if a string is null or white space of input, if the user doesn't write anything, we're going to break to exit the program. Now, let me say here this, I want to move this up. Now I want to pass here the input of the user. And of course, I want to move this up as well. Now let's come here and let me write this. AI, hello, you can ask me anything or press enter to exit. And in here, I want to write you so that we can see that it is the turn of the user to write. So let's press control F5. Let's see how we're doing. Let's come here. Let me say, what is the capital of Dominican Republic? Enter. It is Santo Domingo and of Colombia. Enter. We're going to see that it says, it looks like your question is incomplete. Huh, what is going on? What's going on is that OpenAI is stateless, which means that every time we send a message, we should send the whole history of messages so that the AI has some context so that it can know what we're talking about. Therefore, what we're going to do is that we're going to build that list of messages. Let me do that right away. Bar messages, so messages equal to new list chat message all right so now i want to add to the list of messages whatever the user writes in this input so let me say here messages add and then i want to say new user chat message and let me pass the input and then in here instead of the input i will pass the whole list of messages now i also want to 
store in the messages list whatever the AI responds to us. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to cut this from here and I will put it on its own variable. So AI response equal to this semicolon and then AI response and also let me say and then I want to say messages at new assistant chat message. Notice that in one instance we use user chat message because this is what the user wrote. And here we have assistant chat message because this is what the OpenAI answered to us. Now, something else that I want to do is to add a line here and another line here so that everything is not too close together. All right, so save, control F5. Now we should have some context. So let me drag this over here and let me say, what is the capital of Italy and of France? Enter. And as you can see, now it has some context. Now it's saying that the capital of France is Paris, which means that indeed by sending the whole list of messages, we're able to give some context to the AI. Now, something that I don't like is that if I say, write a three paragraph article about the importance of science in education. And if I press enter, nothing seems to happen. What is going on is that the AI, if you have used it before, like ChatGPT, it doesn't answer right away. It starts like typing. It's like it's typing the response. But here, we get the whole response at once. That is not a good user experience because then the user has to see a blank page for a few seconds. So something that we can do is that instead of waiting for the whole response before writing it on the console, we should use a stream. Let's see that. Enter. Now let's come here. And instead of using this complete chat async, what we're going to do, and let me delete this from here, and let me make some space. What we're going to do, and let me also delete this, what we're going to do is that we're going to use a stream. So a stream, and we're going to say client, and we're going to notice that we have complete chat streaming async. So we're going to receive the tokens from OpenAI in chunks. When we say token, basically we're talking about characters. So we're going to receive like four characters or so per message. So let's do that. Let me say here messages. I'm still going to be passing the messages, but in here I will say await for each. We're going to iterate over the response of the stream. So we're going to say here update a stream, then for each content update dot content update. And in this content, I basically have a chunk of the response of the AI. So what I will do is that I will write it on the console. So I will say console write, and I will say here content text, semicolon. And also, of course, let me say here, AI colon, so that the user knows that this text comes from the AI. Now, I need to store in the list of messages the response from the AI, but that response is coming in chunks. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use a stream builder so that we can concat that string in an efficient manner. So let me say here SV new string builder. And then in here I will say SV append content text semicolon. And then after we finish receiving the response from the AI, we're going to say messages at new assistant chat message SB to a string. Excellent. And that's it. With this, we're good to go. Let me say control F5 one more time. Let me come here and let me say what's the capital of Mexico, Mexico City and of Spain is Madrid. So as you can see, we have context. And now let me say again, write a three paragraph article, enter. And as you can see, now we're receiving in real time the response from the AI, which is a better user experience because now the user doesn't have to wait for the whole response before they can start reading. Please let me know in the comments if you want more content about AI in .NET. Thank you.